when I woke up, the nurse was telling me, this is just a process that they have to go through. Um, she was telling me to be patient. She was telling me that it's a possibility that I will get my baby. They just have to finish the investigation. And she was like, um, they have a certain person that they're looking into giving the baby to. And I didn't know who the person was, but it was my grandmother. Um, so they ended up finally making the decision that they were going to let her go home with my grandmother because my dad ended up calling my grandmother to convince my grandmother um, to take my baby in. And so um, I ended up discharging the next day. And my baby ended up staying at the hospital. They wanted the baby to stay at the hospital for another day and um, after I left. So everything that I brought to the hospital uh, that I had for my baby, like the car seat and all that, um, they gave it to my aunt that was living with my grandmother at the time, my grandmother and my uncle. And they ended up taking my baby home uh, on day three. Well, actually, it was day four because I went home day two. And she, my baby stayed another day, so it was day four. Uh, after my ba my baby got out the hospital, I called my grandmother because I wanted to go visit with my baby. And I'm telling my whole truth. And I know when I speak about stuff that my grandmother did, um certain family members would literally try to crucify me for it and i'm a, i'm telling my whole truth i'm not i'm not i'm not like i'm telling my whole truth so i contact my grandmother because i wanted to come see my baby and they was acting funny with me they didn't want me over there to visit my baby uh they tried to basically keep my baby from me and my dad had to get involved and tell them uh, to let me visit with my baby um me and my aunt we got into it a couple of times about you know my baby um and so my grandmother started it started letting me visit with my baby but i found out later that the reason why they didn't want me over there visiting with my baby is because they had him coming over there visiting with my baby. Um, so basically, they were sneaking him over there and went and didn't let me know that he was coming over there. Which, I like, it's your house, you do what you want to do, but you have this person over here visiting with my baby, and I'm the grandchild, you telling me I can't come visit with my baby. How I found out that she was sneaking him over there is because I called her because I had some stuff for my baby that I bought for my baby. I had called her to see if I can come visit uh, that day that I went over there and called him there. Um, she didn't answer the phone. So it was kind of unnormal for my, uh, my grandmother not to answer the phone because she always answered the phone. So I thought I just thought maybe she was busy. So I was like, I'll just head over there because that's what we that's what we we did. Like I always just head over there and, and she would like normally call me back. But she didn't call me. So I was like, I'm just gonna head over there and maybe she'll call me um while I'm driving over there, you know, or whatever, and on my way there. So I go over there and I see his car parked on the street. And I get out the car fast because I'm like, why is this Negro here? And then so I get in the house. And of course, I I went off. I ain't gonna lie. I went off. And my grandmother was basically making it seem like I was the problem. Um, I'm asking my grandmother why you got him around my baby. Um, she telling me it's his baby too, which I get it. You know, I get it. I understand. But y'all not even letting the courts investigate. Like, y'all not letting them do do no investigation, you know? Even though they didn't do a, a proper investigation, y'all not letting them do their job. Y'all constantly letting him pop up. Y'all not letting them do their job. 
But um, I go off because not only was he over there, he had a whole new girl over there, like his a new girlfriend, like that he had over there over my grandmother's house. They was literally over there having family time with my baby. And so, and yes, my grandmother allowed it. Like, I don't care that he had a new girlfriend. This is just the simple fact that you brought her to my grandmother's house around my child. And so, after you had them take the take the take my baby from me, from me. And so, um, after I went off, I left. Both of us had to leave at that point. Um, and I'm going off because I'm asking my grandmother why they trying to keep my baby from me. Um, so we both leave. I contact my dad and tell my dad what was going on. Of course, my dad handled the situation and he spoke with my, I think he spoke with my, my uncle and told my uncle what was going on. So my uncle told my grandmother, you treating Tiffany as, as if she's not your grandchild. Um, Tiffany is your granddaughter. He is not your grandson. You treat him like he your grandson. Um, if, if Tiffany can't come over here, then he can't come over here. He shouldn't be coming over here anyway. Like, he shouldn't be over here. And so, I found out that my grandmother was still letting him come over there. Um, and they was trying to keep it a secret. They didn't want me to know that he was coming over there. And I just basically said, F it, you know, fuck it. Um, so, me and my aunt um ended up getting into it because she was saying uh hurtful things to me um telling me that they were gonna keep me away from my baby my baby ain't my baby no more you know stuff like that and i drove over my grandmother's house because she pissed me off and i went off i went off um, they called my dad and told him that they were going to call the police on me and, um, that I was over here acting a fool and my dad called me and I was telling my dad what was going on and my dad told her she can't be saying stuff like that to me and yeah, I was, yes, I was going off. I was mad. I was angry. Like everybody was treating me as if I was the only one that fucked up as a parent, you know? So fast forward. Um, we ended up going to court. This was the court appearance where the judge was going to make a decision on where they were going to place my baby. Um, my grandmother had the option to keep my baby or she had the option to let the courts decide where my baby was going to go. And the judge asked my grandmother, are you willing to take this child in? Um, are you, my grandmother had my baby for a whole year at, at this point. And so the judge asked her, are you willing to take this child in? And do you want, like, do you want to keep her and raise her? My grandmother looked at me and I looked at my grandmother. And she looked back at the judge and she said, give her to her dad. And I said, mom. In the courtroom, I was like, Ma, Ma, like, and she wouldn't look at me. And so I'm like, why you, why you do that? And so the judge was like, because I broke down, the judge was like, get out, like, take her out the courtroom. And I haven't looked at my grandmother the same since because i was wondering like have you ever liked me you know um i rather her had said i would like for the courts to decide where they want to place her than for her to say give her to her dad like you don't even know what happened like you don't know you don't know what he did to my baby and you said give it to her dad so, a short, a short period of time after that, I ended up having to go to court, um, criminal court. This was the court where they were deciding whether I was going to go to jail or what they were going to do.